Good morning there, YouTube. This is uh, the day of reckoning. I'm fitting a Shrad a top box carrier today. I've already done the uh, Karazaki 47 litre. I've built that myself. I'll show you that you've seen, you should have seen that in the other video. Here's the Shrad bars. They're supposed to be compatible with the uh, genuine Karazaki luggage so you can still fit the uh, panniers on to start with take your seat off <laughs> take your seat off I do say you only need to take the, the uh, back one off on the instructions and do the bolt there same the other side and the four that holds your tail tidier on so I'll get back to you in a minute after I sorted that. Next thing to do is I've uh, undone the four bolts there. I'll just point them out. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's what holds your tail tidier on. I've got to fit this bracket up now. I've took the bolts out of there. <coughs> Out of there, the big ones near the uh, where the seats join. These are the bolts that come out the grab rail, and they're the four that came out of the uh, from underneath the um, tail tidy bracket. If you're looking at, put a spacer in. bolt and then fit the uh, under tray with their bolts if you if i look uh, i'll show you on the app the bolts you can't use of crosses on like there that's the original bolt you can't use that which are them they're not long enough which are them because they're not long enough shredded supplied their own fitting kit for that same as the uh top ones that hold the uh, tail tidier on which are them so they're obsolete right, I'll put the bolts in order they're two long ones for the grab handle the washers these ones here I don't think I'll be needing because they're for the plates if you look so I'll keep that in mind because I've got my own uh, plate with the Karazakis and then these ones here are for these four here for the uh, tail tidy with the spacers and then you've got the two big spacers with the uh, for the uh, grab handle at the back and the washers so there's a spacer you put on you put the uh, rack up washer and then bolt but first of all we've got to fit the tail tidy yeah? which is them four bolts go through where the original ones went. Put the spacers on them and then put the plate. And then you fasten your, the uh, tail tidy up underneath that plate. Well, I've just fitted two bolts and spacers and I had to take uh, one, one set off what it is. I'll show you. I don't know if you see it here. The spacers up there they're small and then the longer ones here go on the back if you look in the picture i thought hey it's lopsided uh, if you look in the picture there the small ones are there and then the bigger ones go to the back i didn't realize this till i actually started tightening it up so off it came and doing it again right we've done the uh the uh, plate, tail tidy at. I'll just come and show you. They're the four bolts, one, two, three, four, the longer ones. You've got underneath. I'm going to get in there. Right, here are the two short uh, spacers, and there are the two longer spacers. You see, you tighten it up, but not fully tightened because you've got to make sure it looks level. 
before you tighten it down. Drop the number plate down a bit. Don't worry about that. It might pull up when uh, I fit the uh, the bars now. So as soon as I've done that, you'll be watching. Right, that's done. There on. That's done. And now I've just got to uh, uh, tighten them up. I'll just come over and show you. That there is where the original bolt went in for the grove handle. We've got the plate here, which comes with this thread kit. And you have to bolt it that way for some strange reason. You know, I thought it might look better going down, but you won't be able to get at the uh, X head on the bolt there on that one. So that's how they are. If you look, where are we? There. The bolt has to come up through that way. Because you can't get at it otherwise. It is uh, semi-tightened, I'll be going over it in a minute properly. There's the other one, and there's the other one, and you definitely don't need to remove your uh, rider's seat, just the pillion. So, I'll just zoom back a minute. That's what it's going to look like. So, right, right there, back again. Just test fitted the luggage. Side panniers, it does go on. Easy. Not too bad. Uh, I don't know if I can get it in down there. Down there you can see. Come up this way you might be able to see better. Up there, no touching on. See the light behind it just there above my finger. At least there's no rubbing. And get it there. The same down that side. See you can see gaps straight through. So there's no rubbing actually on the bars. So now I've just got to fit the genuine Karazaki plate onto this. Yeah, it looks like there and there. Yeah, should just be able to get that in. So it's way up away from the light as well, which I like as you can see. So hopefully it'll be okay. Well, we're back again. Uh, where am I? One there. One there. One here. And the other one. Come on. One there, yeah. Just here. One there. So I'll just give you a look at that, as you can see them two and two and that that is solid absolutely solid i've just got to put this uh karazaki plate on it And then once that's on and screwed down, the back block goes on. Absolutely brilliant. There we have it there. The plate's on. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the top and show you. That's it there. I'm stepping back, uh, kicking the pannier. This is the bar, it blends in, quite smart actually. It's so I can use the top box of the panniers, even though Karazaki don't recommend it, why I do not know. Because you're allowed five in your panniers, five in your top box, that's a total of 15 kilos. And if you don't have a pillion, that's only 15 kilos. And you know some pillions, how heavy they can go up to. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stone pillions, you know what I mean? So, work that out in kg. You're looking at about 80, 80 uh, kilos on the back, ain't ya? Compared to 15, so I can't see what the problem is. Anyway, that's the shad fritted. There. Comes underneath. You get a new plate, just there, which goes on top of the uh, 
tail tire here. I'll come round. That's what it looks like. And then from underneath, that's what it looks like from underneath. And it's absolutely solid. And I mean solid. See the suspension's going down. That's how solid that is. Absolutely solid. So I'll just come back and show you. That's what it looks like. And I'll put the boxes on in a second and show you full touring mode. Box on. Genuine Karazaki. I built the uh, box up myself and saved hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But this is the 2021 box. And uh, if you see, I'll put it in on the video how much they do cost. Nearly 700 quid, some charge just over 700 quid for them. I went for the, well that's the tin. I went for the black tin instead of the uh, silver tin. And this one here, all the way around here, I don't know if we can do a top shot there. All this one here, had it in a black, flat, metallic sparkle to match the uh, the bottom end of the uh, fairing and the uh, belly fan, come belly fan, had it matching. So you get your eye gloss black all the way around. So I think it looks uh, quite neat, really. Full touring mode. That's what it looks like from the back. Bully beef and chips. <coughs> Just walk around. Here you see. And I've done it so there's still plenty of room for, for a pillion there. That's it from the uh, left side if I can get in here. Squeeze like that. There you go from the left side. So, this is it then. Let's put that up. It's just where I tried it and I sat back on her. You can see that candy plasma blue just there, working with the sun on it. Gives it a lovely effect. Same as the uh, fairing just there. That's the effect you get from it. So, I'll zoom back. And that's the... Uh, Karazaki Z1000 SX Tora 2016 plate. And it's full glory. There's nothing else I can fit now except for a heated seat. It's got everything else on it. Hope you like, share, subscribe, and thank you for all the new subscribers. Some of your names are coming up, some of them are not, but I really do appreciate this. It's making the channel grow brilliant. Thank you. Bye for now.